I'm proud of you for wanting to do this right. I know spending money on this stuff is a chunk of change, but one of the goals of Write and Direct is not just to teach you the craft, but free up your money so that you can buy the gear you need to make movies. So for this lesson, this is about the Ultra Studio Monitor 3G. So you'll need that, you'll need a USB-C cable, and you'll need an HDMI cable. And then you'll also need your HD grading display as you see behind me. So we're gonna get this set up and resolve and get it working. Here's the steps to do it. So take the USB-C cable and plug it into your Ultra Studio Monitor 3G and then plug the other end into the, a USB-C port on your computer. Next, we wanna plug an HDMI cable into the HDMI out on the 3G and then plug that into your display. And this is independent of the Ultra Studio Monitor 3G, but we wanna set our display to Rec. 709 mode. So on the ASUS ProArt, it's gonna look like this. Hit the button next to power and then hit it again and you can navigate up and down with the arrow buttons. On the very top icon, hit the check mark to go to the submenu, and then go to Rec. 709 and select that with the check mark. Go down to the ProArt palette, check mark for submenu, then go to Gamma and choose 2.4. Now back out, we need to go to Image Next, go to the submenu, choose Input Range, and then make sure that's set to Limited. Okay, cool. And the red X will close the menu or it will just go away on its own in a few seconds. And so that's all you have to do there. Now, a little side note. This is a microconverter from Blackmagic Design and it can also act as an external LUT box. So what does that mean? Well, we're going to create a 3D LUT file when we calibrate our display. And we're gonna load that into Resolve Project Settings. However, you can get a little more accuracy on your grading display if you instead take that 3D LUT file and load it on an external LUT box versus Resolve Project Settings. Again, not mandatory, you can load the 3D LUT file into Resolve, but if you want a little more accuracy, check out the other lesson where I tell you which converter to get and how to set it up on your computer. Now we need to download the Blackmagic desktop video software, which allows Resolve to see your device. So go to blackmagicdesign.com forward slash support. And in the search field, just type in Ultra Studio Monitor 3G. Click on the link in the drop down menu, and it may not look like it did anything, but if you scroll down on the page, you'll see it did populate this with software that applies to that hardware. Desktop video 12.8.1, this is the one we want. Whatever the latest is when you're doing this. Click on your operating system. And if you haven't registered it yet, I would register your hardware now. If you've already registered or you just don't wanna do that now, you can just click download only. And it's gonna automatically download that zip file. Choose the folder you wanna download it to and click save. So I'm gonna to go to my folder unzip that file, and there it is. You wanna double click on the .dmg file. So I'm gonna install desktop video 12.8.1. I'm just clicking OK and continue through these prompts. The install is gonna open up your system preferences and you need to click the lock to unlock it. Use your Mac password and then allow the Blackmagic desktop video driver extension. And now we need to restart your computer. Now that we're rebooted, if you go to applications, you should see Blackmagic desktop video. You can also go back to System Preferences and access it with the Blackmagic Design icon. Either way, this is what we wanna see. If your computer sees your Ultra Studio Monitor 3G, then you'll see it here, and you can click this little icon to go into the settings. Under Video Output, Default Video Standard should be 1080p, 24 frames. And then when paused, I have Display a Full Frame on Video Output, and on Video Playback, Display Black when not playing. I'm gonna just Display Freeze Frame when not playing. SDI out doesn't affect us right now. About just shows our driver version. This is the software we just downloaded. And then other information, manual, etc. Just click save. If you ever want the latest software for this, you just do the same thing. You go back to blackmagicdesign.com to support, search for this, and just download the latest software and install it again right over the other one. You don't need to uninstall or anything like that. Cool, let's close that and let's go to DaVinci Resolve. Okay, in Resolve, we need to go to preferences, and then go to the System tab, Video and Audio I.O. And for Monitor Device, hit the down arrow and you should see your Ultra Studio Monitor 3G listed. Go ahead and select it and then click Save. And we need to close and reopen Resolve. Now since this is HD, we need to tell Resolve to scale the timeline when it's sending out to your grading display. We're not changing the timeline resolution, it stays the same, but the signal going out to the grading display is going to be scaled to HD. So go to Project Settings, and then under Master Settings, go to Video Monitoring. We want our video format to be HD 1080p 24. I have a check mark here for Use 444 SDI. I'm gonna talk about that in another lesson, but this does not apply to you right now. You don't have to have that checked. Data levels need to be set to video. Now this corresponds with the setting that you saw me set on the ASUS under Image Input Range 
and then I set it to limited. So that's like setting this to video, different words but the same thing. You could set them both to full, but whether you do limited or full, you just need to make sure what you set in resolve matches what you set on your display. And if you're wondering about the difference between the two, I've compared the two on this display and I'm not seeing a difference, but with your display, you may wanna set them both to full and both to limited slash video and see if you see any difference. And then for video bit depth, I'm gonna change this from 8-bit to 10-bit because my footage is over 8-bit and my ASUS ProArt also supports 10-bit. So I'm gonna set it to 10-bit. And now on the left, go to image scaling and then down to output scaling. Output resolution should be 1920 by 1080 HD for 1920 by 1080 processing. Pixel aspect ratio is square. Mismatched resolution files, set that to scale entire image to fit, and then go ahead and click save. Now with all of this set up, if we turn on our display, we should see the timeline. Let's check it out. Nice, right? If you're not seeing an image, close Resolve and reopen it. Sometimes that'll kick it in, especially if the USB-C cable is unplugged while Resolve was open. You have to close Resolve, plug it in, and then reopen Resolve, maybe even reboot your computer if it still won't show up. Next, it's time to calibrate this display, create a 3D LUT file, and load that up in Resolve so that we see our grade accurately. I will see you there. Hey, if you like this training, you should check out my online film school, Write and Direct, writedirect.co, because I'm a dreamer like you, and I'm a filmmaker, and I did the normal thing. I went to Los Angeles and I went to film school with all these dreams. And I spent a lot of money and I learned a lot, but here's the problem, the challenge. When you graduate from film school, you realize that the entertainment industry, that Hollywood doesn't care about your degree, they don't care about your thesis film, they don't care about any of that. What do they care about? They care about what you can do, what you know, what you've done. So if you're an aspiring director, after film school, the only way forward is to begin directing your own films, but it's on your dime. And if you're not prepared for that, it can set you back by years. And so the goal of Write and Direct is to take what I learned in school, of course, but what I've learned since then, working on studio and independent films, I take all that and I teach you the craft in a very hands-on, self-paced way. You learn the craft, but you save a ton of money so that you can buy the gear you need and start making movies much faster than traditional education routes. I highly recommend you check it out. If you have questions, go to my site, writedirect.co. You can use the contact form on the site. Those go directly to me. You can also schedule a call and we can answer questions on the phone. All right, writedirect.co, I hope to see you there. And if not there, I'll see you on the channel very soon.